Hi everyone, it's Monique with Oak Knob Makes. I hope you are doing well today. I am back to talk to you about stitch markers. In my Unplanned Michaels Haul video, I showed you guys the beads and the findings that I got with the intention of making some stitch markers. Chris made mention in the comments that she'd love to see what I did. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna show you what I made. And I just want to kind of preface it by saying, there aren't a ton to show you. I made myself a set and then a few kind of random ones. And then I wanted to try them and see if I liked them. These are things that I'm considering making to sell on our Etsy shop. Uh, we do have one, we've had one for years where we sell the Herkimer crystals that we mine. We always come home with just so many of them. That is just to say, that I wanted to try these out and see if I thought they worked. They did work. However, I feel that the lobster claw is not always the easiest to use when you're crocheting. If you have yarn that is really splitty, that likes to split, I found that these split it every time. I did think that they weren't really necessarily large enough to snag all the way around bigger yarn. And I understand that's just a matter of buying the size, but I also don't want ridiculously outsized for the marker. So I have decided that from here on out, I'm going to be using lever backs or the wire hoop ones, just because I think that they are going to be more user-friendly and kinder to the yarn. So let me show you what it is I made. And I'm hoping that my camera, and by camera, I mean phone, will focus on these things but if they don't i will try and get a picture of each of them to insert uh in the video so that you can see what they look like a little better maybe my camera doesn't always focus really great so here we go let's give it a go so the first one was just i made one of these it's a random um nothing crazy but it that's it it's a blue bead that's in a wire kind of a cage with a kind of a rainbowy clear, smaller bead in the middle, and then the bottom one almost looks like a fractured marble and it's clear and it kind of does lots of rainbows. I do love it, I think it's really pretty. The next ones, I made two of these because I love purple and I just think that these are absolutely so, so gorgeous. So these are, a light purple bead and they're all glass and they're very sparkly sparklies miss biz miss biz do you guys know that movie you know what i mean and again the same kind of clear rainbowy one in the middle and then it looks like a fractured marble on the bottom okay now into the kind of matching set there is this little tassel which i think is cute it's just white with some little gold uh, this one was a little spool of thread <laughs> it's pretty cute we've got one that's a button if you guys watched the unplanned michaels haul and you actually watched all the way through to the beads you will remember this set this is just kind of some random things there's some beads there's a flower at the end of a chain on it i don't know they're kind of weird but i just stuck all those together and then there was this one that was little scissors they're cute this set appealed to me because I am both a crocheter and a sewer. And these things kind of crossed over. This one is a little tiny safety pin and has, oh, you can kind of see it. It has a little tiny blue crystal in it. It's kind of sweet. And then the last one is the crochet hook, which <laughs> I just love it. It is so cute. I do use it. Yeah, sometimes it gets a little bit wrapped in there um but for some reason it doesn't damage any yarn if it snags it does that make sense i hope so i hope you guys know what i mean but you get the idea so guys that's what i made that's all i've done so far but now that i feel like i've used them long enough to get a handle on what i think about the clasps and all of that i feel much more confident about making more and going forward and at some point if i do make a whole bunch maybe i'll make another video and show you guys what's there i hope you have a great day i hope that you enjoyed seeing this and i hope that maybe it inspiring you to try something different that maybe you haven't tried but that connects in with your hobby somehow 
like obviously I crochet and these stitch markers are something I like and that I use and that are useful. So I think that's a great way to expand one's horizons. I thank you for coming and spending your time here with me. Bye guys.